We have a minor errand before we reach yours in. Resist all you want. What a pitiful sight. Descend it is. to gain any more power.
Gaucho. is the source of his strength. I must cut off his supply. There's your V gameplay. <laughs> uh, I should explain what's going on. I mean, obviously I'm using Cheat Engine to get past playing as him, but there's actually a, uh, a new, like, community uh, Cheat Engine table that has a lot of really useful features. Uh, it's got some mods and stuff for Dante, like Infinite Ignition. Uh, it also has the, uh, the DB Switcher mod. A couple other things as well. Uh, obviously in this video I'm using just straight up cheats to get past playing as him because I, I want to finish DMD and uh, unlock the uh, the super mode without having to pay for it because I don't want to pay for that kind of microtransaction. <laughs> but there's lots of really useful stuff in there. Uh, it does not have turbo mode yet, but uh, pretty much everything else you'd ever want and the, the person who's working on it and uh, also collaborating with the other community members, uh, he said he's going to be updating it regularly. So uh, it's definitely worth using, especially if you have the PC version. Uh, if you're not aware, uh, Mission 4, uh, there's been a character swapper on this game for months now, pretty much since it came out, uh, like the first, like the launch window, uh, someone had made a character swapper and made it work, but for whatever reason, on, on this particular level at the beginning, uh, the first couple enemies that you fight are like hard-coded to be invulnerable unless you're playing as V, they cannot take damage from anything unless you're using V's demons. So unfortunately, uh, when you try to switch characters here, what it does is they just basically just don't have a hurt box. So you'll be, you'll be like hitting them with your sword or whatever weapon you're using and uh, nothing will happen. They'll just kind of stand there. So to get past that part, what I did is I just put on an infinite DT, an infinite um, summon duration or health, which didn't seem to be working right now, and put in vulnerability and then one hit KO. For whatever reason, on that uh, that nobody, it didn't work, but it worked on the boss, which is the most important part. That boss is like the worst boss in the game, in my opinion. Uh, it's just wonky. Uh, the lock-on in this game is very wonky in general, so having a boss that basically, uh, you know, it, re it revolves around having to lock onto a specific target and stun the tentacles so that he comes down and you can actually do damage is not a good recipe, especially when you're stuck playing as V, where, you know, a lot of your commands are more like suggestions for the most part. So uh, I'll probably be using this again on Mission 14. Uh, I should be clear from then on. Uh, mission 9 is the only other one that requires using him, and uh, you can just use the character switcher there. It works fine. I did that on my other playthrough, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'll go ahead and I'll post a link to the tweet uh, where he's talking about the uh, collaboration cheat engine table, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.